after discovery, we, uh, as we typically do, we typically stop collecting uh, uh, more measurements, more observations. And we quickly saw that the object uh, was, let's say, having impact chances with the Earth uh, in December 2032. So the object uh, has been estimated to be in the range between 40 and 90 meters. And we are uh, trying to collect as many observations, uh, not what we call astrometry observations, which are the ones that allows us to, uh, to determine the position in the sky. Of course, we are doing that a lot, but we also want to, to collect measurements that allows us to determine the physical properties of the asteroid, which would allow us to determine better the, uh, the size of the object. And we are still doing that. The impact velocity, which will be in the order of 17.3 kilometers per second at the moment of, of the possible impact, uh, and the density of the object, which we, we which we don't know, uh, so for that we have to do uh, some some let's say estimate. But the uh, the, the let's say the, uh, the amount of energy that would be released, taking into account those uncertainties, would range between five to fifty uh, megatons. Let me tell you, the most likely scenario is that by the time we lose sight of the object in April this year. Uh, the the impact priorities we have lowered enough not to worry about this object anymore. However, there are still some small chances that it will remain in our reach list. And uh, when when we come back, uh, when it will come back in 2028 and we reobserve it, at that time uh, it will have been so much time enough for us to determine whether uh, let's say it will be impacting or not completely. So it will be a zero or a hundred percent.